Hello and welcome to this video. This one's going to be a little bit different. I recently got a new camera and I wanted to test out some different footage, different shooting with it. And then I also uh, decided to move uh, some things around when I got some new furniture for my sewing area that I've been waiting for for a minute now. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit of a talky video and a little bit of using my process for the week and some different things that I've gotten into. I do have another video that I'm working on currently which is a DIY stamp making tutorial which I've filmed most of the footage for already. I just need one little piece um, and I've also been at a standstill for this current project that you see me working on here, this dress. Uh, I thought I had ordered enough of this vintage dead stock corduroy fabric to finish this night and day dress, but turns out I didn't. So I just put in another order for um, what I'm hoping will be a comparable red corduroy to go match with this. So the bodice is completely done but I've got maybe two panels of the cat fabric and so I'm going to try and match it with some red corduroy fabric and see if I can get it going there. So as I said I was testing out the camera seeing what it was capable of doing a little this is I think this is not the camera but anyways this shot here is the camera. Now this focus uh, I'm a little obsessed with. See, see how it just did that? Boom! Right to the back, right to the front. I've been researching this camera and I've been wanting it for the low light conditions in here. So this is not sewing related at all other than the footage. And I am very excited about it. So the next footage in this series is going to be me doing a little revamp. So I got rid of that black thing and moved it to the living room so I could make some space in here and kind of redo this. I don't know if we're going to keep that thing, but for right now, that's that's what it's doing. It's storing things and making a TV experience amazing. So I bought another one from Craigslist and I put it on the left hand side over here so I could have more of an even playing field for my sewing area and that was what I wanted originally but this is what I ended up with. And I thought I'd just th throw this in for a good measure. This room is so dark and this footage turned out great. I think we're just eating dinner and watching a movie. Man, the sewing life really is the solitary life. This is, uh, this box is so tedious to make and I'm literally not sure if it'll fit. I haven't even tried it on. I haven't tested it or anything. That's just the kind of seamstress I am. I fucking live by the seat of my seam pants. I don't really know. Anyway, so I have some other footage here that is uh, some unboxing, so I'll show that now. It's been a little minute since I shared and on wrapping because there's some boxes um so i thought i would do that today uh, i already have two other things that showed up uh that i already un unboxed with some shoes uh so uh maybe i'll take show you here or i'll just cut the this footage but anyways let's get started so i went on a little another poshmark Free. I had some stuff saved in the lights, and these people finally agreed to the price that I wanted to pay. <clears throat> so, I mean, I'm just hoping it actually fits good. But, what we have here, uh, my idea in buying this was to look uh, professional but also part of my unique style so it is a polka dotted blazer uh, from Topshop 
so it it looked like white and black on there but this looks a little bit like tight tannish but i think it will read mostly white and black um but we'll try it on so here it is on and you know that's the kind of that's the kind of look that i was going for but i don't know like it could never be like this because like button up because the sleeves are too small in the armpits so i would be able to i mean i can only move, i can move around that because i have it open so i don't know i'm gonna try it i'll try it with an outfit for a day and see if i like it i mean i like the idea of it but the fit isn't good then And then the other day I was on Urban Outfitters because I was looking for something to hold my necklaces. So my necklace collection got big, got some cute necklaces and uh, they kept falling on the ground and so I needed something to hold them. So I was on there looking for something to hold my necklaces and my earrings and then they had these other things and I was just like, Ooh, this is on sale and it's really cute and it's kind of like art and uh, yeah so I picked it up so you're supposed to be able to hang your jewelry on it too but you could but from what I've heard people use it mostly as like art and one of the reviews did say that it smelled really bad and this has like a smell in the bag, but I don't, I don't know how often you're gonna be smelling this. So, so is it difficult to see? So yeah, basically it's just wire, and it's a lady, a naked lady, with uh, her arms folded. And so you could put some rings on here, and they show like a picture with the necklaces are hanging down this. And I just thought it was cool, and it was like totally reasonably priced. I think it was like 10 or 12 dollars. Here. Femme. Oh, it's the English side. Femme. So, I got that, thinking I could use that to hang some jewelry and it not be hideous. And I also got this. This was like five dollars or eight dollars and that was like oh, it's just really really cool and uh, people said that they used it to hold their like keys and stuff like that but so it could hold keys it could hold necklaces i don't know how big my collection is gonna get but boom or boom right boob what do they call it boob hook Oh yeah, pretty cute. That is my unboxing. You know what guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I know it's been a mishmash. Tell me if you like this type of video. If you don't, I might still make it because I think it's fun and I like making this kind of footage. So we'll see. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>